everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to customize the KDE Plasma desktop. So as usual, if you check out our description below the video, you'll be able to basically see how to do this in depth. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do what we talk about in the article, and that is how to get your KDE Plasma desktop to look as good as mine. So if you notice, mine is very customized. I've got widgets and everything all customized and set up the way I want. I've, I'm not using the, the uh, classic menu. I've got icon taskbars instead of the normal you know, uh, window list. And it all looks pretty nice. So to start off, something that Plasma is known for is the widgets. And to get to the widgets, you can either right click on here and click unlock widgets if you have yours locked. I usually keep mine locked because I don't like this little dot thing here. But once you have the widgets unlocked, you can click this button up here and you can click add widgets. And this will bring up a menu. And from here, you can just go through and search for whatever widgets you want. And you can put them either on the panel or you can put them on the desktop. So let me give you an example. I have a device notifier. I can put this device notifier right here if I want to have an icon that says that a device is available. I can also remove the widget like this, or I can put the device notifier right on my panel. And now it's here. And of course I can remove it by doing panel settings. And then you just click the X button. Widgets are a way to customize your desktop, so just click up the menu in the top left corner. The icons are going to look different depending on what you have for your desktop theme. But for me it's these three dots and I just click this and click add widgets. Now if you're not happy with the widgets that you see here you can just click this button here and click download new plasma widgets and this will open up a new menu where you can just you can click install and you can add whatever ones you want from the store. So if you couldn't tell my window manager theme and this is the window decorations, isn't the typical KDE Plasma desktop uh, setup. It's, and it's called the Adapta theme. Now, how do I get to that? Well, you can customize the theme at any time. You can change the window manager theme independently of the entire OS. You, you do this by opening the menu and you type window decorations. Now, there's a little bit of a, a weird thing when it comes to KDE, they have multiple options that mean the same thing. You want to look for the one that says Window Decorations. Once you open that, you can click the Maximize button, and you can see I have several different themes to choose from. This is the default, the Breeze one, but my custom theme matches my layout for Adapta. And you can also click over here on Buttons, and you can reorganize how the title bar looks. And you can do whatever you want with this. And it's overall a pretty easy way to customize the decorations for the way all of your applications look. And again, like we talked about in the widgets, you just click get new decorations and you can get new themes for your window manager. And you just click the install button and you're ready to go. All right, moving on to icons. So as you can see, I am using a custom icon set for my KDE Plasma desktop. Now, I don't like the default icon set that comes with Plasma because I think it looks gross. So I like to use my custom icon set. So if you're looking to change your own icon set, this is what you do. First, as always on KDE, you open up the menu and you start searching for icons. Click on the icons button. It'll have, it'll just say icons. Just click on it, open it, and uh, you'll see all of the different icons installed. I'm using the Papyrus Adapta icon theme, but if I want to switch to say the Breeze icon theme, which is the default Plasma 5 theme, I can click apply once I select it, and all of my icons instantly change to this really off-putting icon theme. And as you can see, everything looks different now. If I want to switch back, I can just click apply, and at any time, my icons look much better. Let me go back to my custom theme. Of course, there are also advanced settings for the desktop, the toolbar, and these are just settings that you're not going to want to mess with. But the general idea is you pretty much just pick an icon theme that you have custom installed and you can apply it in this menu. If you don't like to go through the tedious nature of installing an icon theme into the file system, 
uh, manually, you can just click the get new theme icon and you can look through all of these wonderful icon themes for your KDE Plasma desktop. And once you find one that you like, just click the install button. So the last thing in terms of the KDE Plasma desktop, in terms of the way it looks, is something called the Look and Feel Explorer. Now, that might sound weird calling it Look and Feel, but what it is is actually pretty cool. So you want to search for Look and Feel and just open that up. Once you're there, you can see these are complete themes. Now, what does this mean? Well, instead of going through and individually setting up Instead of going through and individually setting up a theme for the icons, the desktop, this and that, you can actually just get new complete overall overhaul. You can get complete overhauls of your theme for the KDE Plasma desktop. So what, is, what does this look like? Well, um, they do have previews here, but as you can see, this is the default layout. So if I click this, my login screen, my everything will look like the default KDE setup and it'll use the icon theme that it's supposed to use and everything. And I don't have to go through and I don't have to customize the icons or the window manager layout or anything. I can go back to my custom theme that I prefer and now everything pretty much is back to normal minus the window manager theme because I have to do that custom. So Look and Feel Explorer, like I said, is very, very, very cool and it's a great way to make your desktop look any way you like. Like I said, you just, you just click through and you can select whatever you want to use. You can even download new ones as usual if you want to install new look and feel uh, layouts. Just go over here, click install, and once it's installed, you apply it. So guys, that was how to customize the KDE Plasma desktop. We went over the basics. You know, we didn't really dig into the really hardcore stuff like uh, font sizes and whatnot, but this is just how you can make your Plasma desktop look good on Linux. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.